So quadratic equations are in the form uh, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Uh, I don't know why I had it flipped around this way. It doesn't matter. Um, so when a is one, in other words, it's just x squared plus something x plus something. Um, typically, it can be pretty easy to factor, and you want to factor a quadratic equation. Um, well, one way to solve it is to is to factor it because uh, then it gets pretty easy to solve. So when when a is one, it it's usually fairly easy to factor. So you're just looking for so it's going to be um, x plus or minus something times x plus or minus something, and those somethings are uh, you want you want numbers that will add up to five and multiply to six. So you could look at the factors of six. Uh, you know, two times three is six. Uh, 1 times 6 is 6, so that's not going to do anything for us. Um, so, uh, yeah. So you want, okay, so the factors, two factors that um, will multiply to, to equal 6 are 2 and 3, and then they also add to 5, right? So, uh, so we're good to go. x plus 2, x plus 3. Uh, we're done, right? So it's pretty pretty straightforward when a is 1. But what if you have something like this? 10x squared plus 11x minus 6 equals 0. And uh, you know you can't pull a trick like dividing the whole thing by 10 so that a is 1 because then you'll have this will be 11 tenths and that'll just that just that gets messy. So what do you do? Um, it's not so bad. It just involves a few more steps than this case here. So First thing you do is multiply a and c. All right, so so 10 times negative 6 equals negative 60. All right. Um, so let me. Yeah. All right. So that's the first thing. Okay. A times c. And what we want to do is we want to find the factors of 60 um, well we'll do we'll do the factors of 60 and then we'll have to remember that um, they'll, we have to get a negative number out of them um, and we want to find the factors that'll add up to to b all right so s similar situation over here just you know a little bit more involved so a times c is negative 60. So what are the factors of 60? So we could have, you know, 30 times 2, uh, but, you know, we can't get 11 out of 30 and 2. 30 minus 2 is 28. 30 plus 2 is 32, you know. So let's look for um, some better factors here. 30, so I'm just going to do a little factor tree. 30, um, we could break down into 15 times 2. Uh, so, you know, can we get some kind of combination here? Um, 15 times 2 times 2, meaning 15 times 4 is 60. Uh, so let's, let's look at that, 15 and 4. If we do 15 minus 4, that would be 11. And 15 times negative 4 would be negative 60. So th those will be our factors, okay? So we're good. All right. Now what we want to do is we want to rewrite the B term as the sum of um, 15 times x and negative 4 times x, okay? Because 15x minus 4x is equivalent to 11x, so we're allowed to do that. Uh, so this this we are going to rewrite as 15x uh, minus 4x or if it helps you can call that plus negative 4x let's just call it plus negative 4x might be easier to keep track of the, the negative sign there so we re rewrote 11x as 15x plus negative 4x right and that um, 
That's true, right? If we were to combine those like terms, we'd get 11x. So we're, we're good. So let's let's write our polynomial as we've got it now. So 10x squared plus 15x plus negative 4x um, minus 6 is equal to 0. Now we just do some some grouping, some strategic grouping, some stri strategic factoring, and uh, it uh, will we'll, we'll be good to go. So we're going to group. Um, the these two, and we're gonna group. Uh, all right, I need I need more room. Okay, so this is. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, and we're going to group these two first. Okay, pay attention to your signs. Don't lose track of them. Um, and if it helps, say plus negative instead of minus. Okay, uh, so this is all true, right? We're just we just grouped um, these four terms. So what we can do is now we want to pull a factor out of each one of these. Um, so for example, we can pull a 5x um, out of this binomial, right? Each of these terms shares a factor of 5x. 5x. So 5x times what is equal to 10x squared? So 5x times 2x will equal 10x squared. So this becomes 2x and this becomes 3. 5x times 3 is 15x. So we factored out a 5x um, from this binomial. Okay, plus, so let's do the same thing with this one. Um, so what we have got here is uh, each of these terms shares a um, negative 2. Negative 2 times what is equal to negative 4x. We've got 2x um, and then negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So we'll do plus 3 here. Right? We haven't done anything illegal. Uh, we, we just grouped these together as they were and then we pulled out, uh, we, we factored them so 5x times 2x is 10x squared. 5x plus uh, 5x times 3 is 15x. Uh, negative 2x times 2x, or negative sorry, negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. All right. Well, here you can notice this is the the whole point of this that this factor and this factor. Uh, these terms have in common. So now we can rewrite this as, uh, so we can we can factor this out of the whole thing. So we've got 2x plus 3 uh, times, uh, now what's left is 5x and a minus 2. 5x minus 2. Right, in other words, if if I if I were now to foil this, I'll get 2x um, times 5x is 10x squared. 2x uh, times minus 2 is is negative 4. Uh, 3 times 5x is 15x. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Right. So each one of those is equal. Uh, so this factor times this factor is equal to 0. Um, now you can go on to solve 2x plus 3 equals 0 or 5x minus 2 equals 0, etc. And just solve for x in each case. Right? This is the main piece, factoring that. So that's the process. Multiply a by c. Um, find the factors of c that will add up to b. Rewrite b as uh, one of those factors times x plus the other factor times x. Group 
um, the left two and then the right two factor each uh, each one and then um, factor again based on on the common factor there and, and you're done